uh, migraine definitely is more than just a headache, although often dismissed as just that. Um, migraine is a really important disorder. Um, so fundamentally, it is a headache disorder. Uh, but uh, patients get a very severe headache uh, that's often pounding, can incapacitate them. And very often they also get a warning sign just before the headache starts, uh, something we call the aura, uh, commonly in the form of flashing lights or zigzag lines. And uh, although often dismissed as just a headache, in fact the World Health Organization ranks it as one of the leading causes of disability worldwide. And the economic cost is quite staggering, uh, estimated at over 27 billion, dollars, billion euros uh, per year. Um, and uh, uh, in terms of uh, um, healthcare needs and also uh, loss of productivity at work. So it's really a very important disorder indeed. The discovery that we made um, in relation to migraine was really something quite fundamental. We know that migraine is a genetic disorder, and we know that because it runs in families. But up until uh, towards the end of last year, we really did not know what the genes were that caused typical forms of migraine. And uh, what our discovery showed was that there were some very critical genes, and in particular a gene called TRESC. And the reason we're so excited by this discovery is that TRESC is an ion channel that controls the excitability of neurons. And also, very importantly, TRESC is expressed in a part of the brain called the trigeminal ganglion. And the trigeminal ganglion lies at the base of the brain on both sides, and it relays all sorts of sensory as well as pain information from the head, uh, from the blood vessels of the head, from the lining of the brain. And we know for some time now that the trigeminal ganglion is absolutely fundamental for the development of migraine headache. So the discovery that TRESC, perhaps one of the most important two poor potassium channels uh, that controls the excitability of these trigeminal ganglions, uh, is abnormal and doesn't work properly in migraine subjects, well that's absolutely uh, providing a huge insight into why subjects can get migraine. What does it mean for patients? Well, uh, we can now really start to look at finding some treatments that could be quite effective in treating migraine, which is still a very difficult disorder to, uh, to treat. And so what we can do is look to alter the sensitivity of the trigeminal ganglion by targeting TRESC specifically. The research that we did uh, took place over a number of years, uh, nine years in total, um, but I think that moment that we knew that we were onto something uh, was when we saw for the first time a mutation occurring in Tresk in uh, a, m a member of the family who had uh, migraine. Uh, and then when we looked to see whether or not the mutation was occurring in all of the patients who had migraine, we found that it perfectly matched whereas anyone who didn't have migraine didn't have a mutation. So that really told us that we were onto something special. We then looked to see what the mutation did on the iron channel, and we could see that it completely ablated the function of the channel, and we then looked to see where TRESC was expressed, and we saw that it was expressed in the trigeminal ganglion, which, as I mentioned, is the fundamental place where migraine generates from.